Welcome to a FS17 moving video on the Score Farms map. Today we'll be making our way over to the shop here in our 2017 Ram 2500 Power Wagon. Today we will be using a variety of trucks, move a camper, trailer, a Polaris 1000, and a few older sport cars. It's going to be three different jobs, very busy day here for the company. But it is pretty exciting to be back here with a moving company. A lot of guys have really been enjoying this series, which is pretty exciting. I can't wait to do more here with this series and very soon we will also be moving to a much bigger shop because we are getting more and more trucks, trailers, different types of trailers and I think that we do need to look into getting some open trailers, some uh, utility trailers as well because some of our enclosed trailers do limit us with the height of the uh, roofing and other things like that. So let me know your feedback guys. What should we get here? I will be getting a brand new semi truck here for this series as well which is pretty exciting but we are just about to arrive here at the shop it's going to be a very busy day which is always nice so busy days for the companies is great because that means the company is earning money and it's a busy time so up first we'll be going over to the campsite and we'll be moving this 30 foot camper to the customer's home where they will be uh, taking all their stuff out of it and uh, putting it underneath a uh, tent that they have bought from the local uh, home supplier so we'll turn on our GMC 3500 and this is awesome. I really do like this truck a lot. It is a Denali. It is pretty fully loaded uh, trim level, which is nice. And I thought that uh, this would be a great way to feature more GMCs. Now, I chose this one just because camper trailers are usually pretty heavy. And especially when it's full of all the camping gear and all of the equipment they use throughout the summer months. I thought uh, taking this would be a little bit safer and it will be a little bit easier to tow with. I hope all of you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going good so far, and I hope yours is too. It's a busy time here for me, but I really do enjoy uploading every single day to the channel, and it's a lot of fun with all of the different things. And we do have some pretty cool new games coming to the channel as well, including FS19. I started featuring Forza Horizon 4, and soon will be Construction Simulator 2. I got lots of requests for that. I got the game, and you guys will be seeing some videos probably later on this week. Now this GMC is pretty cool. I don't usually use too many GMCs here in my videos, so it is nice to, to be back here using this here today. Now it does have an interior camera view, but it's not too detailed, so we won't be using that. I will be looking into getting or even finding an interior for this truck. I think that that will be a pretty uh, helpful thing. And sometimes when people own campers, or even sometimes boats, they might not have the vehicle that can tow the trailer, and that is what happened here. These uh, people actually have a sports car and a sedan so they aren't able to tow a 30 foot trailer and uh, that is okay they hired us they hire us uh, twice a year to move it from their house and uh, to bring it back which is nice we'll get it backed up here and all the new trucks have backup cameras which is pretty cool they usually are around the tailgate area so we'll get this attached we'll just come over here take the wheel chocks away we got that one taken away and we'll take that one away. So there we go guys, everything's already disconnected. They came over here and prepped the trailer for us, which is very helpful. And that will go drop it off. And like I've touched on, they will be setting up a tent and that will help kind of keep the snow off this as well. You could easily go buy, I believe it's like a car tent, uh, different sizes as well, you could buy them and uh, you could even park a vehicle underneath. So that is what they are doing, but they wanted to get this uh, at their house before they uh, decided to put it up. If you do have any cool ideas here for the moving series, please let me know down below here in the comments. I really do enjoy this series, and it will be pretty interesting to do some movings, uh, equipment, everything like that during the snow time as well, because we got to uh, kind of go along with the seasons as well. So I can't wait for moving things in the snow. That will add a bit of a twist to some of our things as well, which is pretty cool. But wow, this GMC Denali looks awesome. I really do like it a lot. Big shout goes out to Machine Modding on Facebook for releasing this it just looks awesome I do like the drop hitch as well it makes it so that the uh, truck uh, sits pretty level and the trailer is level as well the truck doesn't squat too much and it's actually pretty realistic this dually can uh, haul quite a lot and this camper I would say is probably at most uh, at most 10,000 pounds and this truck could probably do at least 20 25 so I mean that is quite a lot 
We are now turning here into his street. It's actually way down here too, actually in front of us there in the middle uh, house on the circle. So what he wanted was for us to park it right alongside his house, which is what we'll do. We do have to watch that tree, but he wants it kind of tucked away and that is going to be good. So we'll just kind of get this backed in. Sometimes we will be using our trailers to transport things or even trucks and then sometimes it will be just like this. So this is how he wanted it and we'll just hop out and double check and if it's correct, he wanted it kind of pretty far back, kind of tucked away and he wanted to be able to access the door. Wow, we got that actually pretty lined up. That looks awesome there. So we'll uh, disconnect it here and more than likely you won't <laughs> really see it uh, from some angles from the driveway yeah so it's kind of tucked away and that looks to be good there we'll send him the bill and i do i uh, like to take half the bill up front that way we do the work and we don't want them to not pay we lose out on all of the time and equipment uh, wear and tear We'll head back over to the shop now to pick up the Ram 2500 because up next we will be moving a players from a house to a storage unit which is pretty cool. Sometimes people just don't have enough room in their garage especially with winter coming along so uh, we'll be doing that and it's just a public storage unit and a few sport cars as well. If you haven't already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and give me a follow at score2448. I do post some pretty cool daily pictures over there and updates for all of you guys. And I'm live every single Sunday, which is pretty exciting. It's always nice to interact with all of you guys live. And like I've touched upon, I think it's time for us to move the company to a new shop. This was kind of a good shop to start the company at. You don't want to start too big and then not be successful. But we've been pretty successful. So I'm thinking we'll move a shop. It's a very soon within the coming week and uh, we will also be switching out uh, uh, getting new semi trucks things like that and like I've touched upon I do want to get some utility trailers uh, because sometimes these enclosed trailers do limit us with the ceiling height so we'll definitely do that and maybe get some new uh, trucks as well but I kind of like the truck selection Along with uh, doing this, I am looking into more jobs where we get to use this flatbed truck out here. We actually haven't used it once yet, but very, very soon we will. Most likely, uh, maybe for moving Christmas uh, trees, uh, something like that, or moving lots of boxes, we'll take that. And that should be pretty helpful. We'll get this truck backed in here and one thing you guys just saw me do was I uh, got this one out first no need to kind of squeeze through it when uh, we just uh, since the truck was already outside we get this one out first now this is one awesome truck one of my favorite Rams uh, between the interior and all the different options and everything about it it's just a pretty realistic work truck as well we are here on the Score Farms map, which is in beta currently. I'm working on all the problems for version 1 of it, along with new dealerships and new buildings, which should be pretty exciting for all of you guys, but it will take a little bit of time, and I hope all of you guys do understand that. Modding, uh, especially when you have uh, some problems that you have to overcome, and when you still do learn, uh, even uh, as you do mod, it does take a little bit of time, and I am currently also working on those uh, compact tractors and the train come over. It's been a little bit slower process. I've been pretty busy, but I can't wait to release those. So we'll hop here in it now. We were given the keys to all of the vehicles we are moving today. I actually just feature this in a mod review if you guys would like to check it out. This thing is awesome. Now, one of the big bonuses to using an enclosed trailer like this is uh, it's the uh, equipment, anything that we are shipping is pretty much protected. We don't have to worry about rock chips, uh, especially on sport cars, uh, rocks coming up off cars, or anything like that. That's kind of why I wanted to start this series with enclosed trailers, is that I think that these are a bit more important, but on uh, some occasions we could easily use open trailers, and that's why I would like a few of those. And also along with the enclosed trailer, it is pretty secure in the back, you lock it up and nobody will do anything, especially if it's a pretty long move or anything like that. And sometimes you just don't want uh, the uh, vehicle to be shown, it could be a special vehicle that wants to be kind of kept uh, uh, from the public view, some cool things like that. But wow, this truck is pretty much sitting level, which is nice, uh, usually when you do have a big truck like this, it uh, 
trucking trailer the trailer especially will sink the truck which it did and now it looks to be just level yeah it looks to be just about level we are arriving here at the moving shop here and i will be doing a video only in first person as well it will be like the first person challenge i want it to be like a tricky uh thing as well i don't want it to be too easy uh just driving a truck for the video i want it to be tricky maybe a, some loader action because sometimes uh the loader is a bit hard to see from the uh, interior but i mean people are able to uh, maneuver them things like that now this storage unit is pretty cool but i do want to get uh sections of it because each garage door is a section to each unit so we will more than likely be dividing uh, the shop probably putting walls in between each of these to make it more realistic for storage unit style because it's not one uh, big area with multiple garages unless you kind of do that but let's see can we turn around in here it's going to be a bit tight we'll now head back over to our shop we'll be getting the freight liner and the big enclosed trailer two sport cars one's a shelby and the other one's a 2009 zr1 corvette so two pretty expensive ones it's a gt500 it's pretty old and the customer wants us to move them as well to storage so i mean uh, a bit challenging what we've just uh, done we probably should have backed into the street and uh, this will take us a few times we should be able to get this here on a few more and we'll keep turning there we go it's a tight fit and we got it there wow I mean it is a bit tricky 30 foot enclosure sure does make it a bit harder as well now we do have a trailer that's a gooseneck which is able to haul a little bit more but for this uh, one uh, off-road tool I didn't think we needed it We'll head back over to the shop and switch trucks. And like I've touched upon, this will be our last uh, job here with that Freightliner semi truck. There is a few problems with the truck. It just does not have good brakes. And I think it's time for us to get a new one as well. And uh, more than likely, it will be an awesome one. I do want to get some LED lights on them as well. We are always on the side of the road, things like that. And having those lights will uh, make it a little bit safer for us. So what we will do is we might have to move that GMC again uh, depending on how we parked it because uh, backing this in is a bit tricky when it's just so tight in our garage and that's also why I want to get a new uh, shop this is a pretty tight fit here for this uh, truck and trailer, but it looks like we are able to do it, which is pretty good. That looks good right about there. Sometimes it does take a few tries, but once you do it, uh, it is uh, very exciting. And, I mean, it's good that we didn't have to move the GMC out of the shop too much. Next up, we'll be hopping here in the Freightliner, and this is one awesome trailer. I really do like it a lot. I did reskin it, which was a pretty cool thing. That says score 2448, but pretty soon I will be getting a new skin on it that says square uh, 2448 moving and that should be a pretty cool thing let me know what should we name it should we do square 2448 moving or if you do have any cool other names please let me know down below in the comments but I really do like this uh, truck and trailer though for transporting pretty expensive cars there's just so much more protection and it's such a large vehicle and gives us more room uh, to get out of the cars from the uh, trailer as well We'll be taking this right hand turn and as you guys can see the brakes are not good on this so we will have to be pretty careful and this is the street here it should be the big white house and I can already see a few cars and he said both of them are blue he dropped the keys off to our office a little bit earlier today as well which was pretty awesome now I will back the trailer in as well and yeah, that should be a little bit uh, better put this here in reverse and it looks yep looks like we are good on both sides here we'll uh, start to get the doors opened here it will take just a few moments but wow i actually don't want to be in the street so there we go this actually fits pretty big it's a very big driveway and this customer really has some awesome cars so take a look at this guys the 2009 corvette zr1 this is one awesome uh sports car very very expensive as well so we'll get this loaded on here it's a pretty wide car and you guys can see it's just going to fit on the inside of this truck and trailer 
We'll bring in a little bit more forward. It's a pretty tight squeeze, but wow, that is awesome. I really do like all uh, types of score cars as well. I drive a 2018 WRX uh, Limited. It is a pretty cool vehicle. I do have some videos coming as well on it. So we'll hop back here in the GT500. Now this is an awesome one. A great part of uh, muscle car history, I will have to say. And I will I kind of get this loaded up. There we go. Both of them do fit, which is nice. We'll hop back here in the truck. We'll get the ramps folded back in, and we'll head over there to the storage units. Now, he only uh, keeps these for the summer months, and uh, he wants to put it away before uh, anything else comes. And he does have a garage, but he took them out of the garage for so that his house was locked up, secured, while he's out at work. So we'll go over to the storage units, and then we'll call it a day. It's been a pretty... Uh, it's been a pretty busy moving day here for us, which is always exciting when we make this turn here. Not the best brakes on this truck. That's one of the biggest reasons why I will be uh, kind of moving over to a new truck. I hope all of you guys enjoyed today's moving video here on the Square Farms map. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.